Welcome to I Cook, She Drinks. Today, what we're gonna do is prepare um, a duck. We're gonna take the duck, we're gonna break it down, we're gonna put it in the smoker for uh, a bunch of hours. I'm not sure how long yet, because I've never really cooked duck in the smoker. But what I'm gonna do is complete it with a nice port wine, demi glaze and sour cherry sauce with some garlic mashed potatoes and some mixed vegetables. So what I'm gonna do first, I've already scored my duck. I chopped a few things off of it, its wings. And there's just some extra fat, you don't need that. All right, so the reason why we scored is just to render the fat off it when you're cooking it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break this down here. Okay, so we've uh, cut this into sections, we get our uh, drumsticks, our thighs, our wings, and our breasts. What we're gonna do is, I'm a really, I'm a big breast guy myself. Um, some people like thighs. I thought you like legs. I, I do like legs. I like, I like thick legs and I like juicy breasts. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season this here. Some pepper and just some sea salt. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to fire it in the smoker. Once it's smoked, we're going to bring it back in, put on a nice plate, and show you how simple it is to do a duck in the smoker. Okay. So, of course, we decided to film outside today and it's raining. That's okay. No worries. The rain won't stop me. Smoker's on. I'm going to slide this in here, put it in the middle of the rack. Perfect. Temperature's at 200 right now. I'm going to bring that temperature up uh, to about 220 for about a half an hour and then I'm going to drop it back down to about 180 and I'm going to leave it there and just keep an eye on it. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I know we're waiting for this duck. What we've done, like I said, we've put it in here for a little bit. Um, what I did, I, I turned up the heat a little bit um, because we were kind of running out of time for what we had uh, planned for today. But what I want to do is get the duck done. Actually, I came over, I checked it out. It looks amazing. I'm going to pull it out right now. So I shut the temperature off. Look at that smoke coming out of there. I'm gonna grab this duck. Look at that. I got the breast, the wings, the thighs, and the legs. We're all good to go here, man. You can see here, it's nice and tender. What I did, I switched it up. I was gonna use a different uh, smoke, but Thinking about it, and what I've decided to do was serve it with that uh, beautiful potato I make, of course, the curry potato. So I'm gonna have that um, the curry cream potato with the smoked duck. I used apple wood on this duck, so the breast, the legs, the thighs are gonna be amazing. I'm gonna use a little bit of demi-glaze that I have prepared here, all right? It's a little bit dark, I added some coloring in there, a little bit darker than normal. Usually your demi-glaze should be kind of like a, a light brown. This is a little bit darker. But what's gonna happen is when I add the sour cherry, uh, and the juice to that with the port wine and reduce it. This flavor is gonna blend very well with the apple wood and the, um, the curry potato. I'm gonna throw some asparagus in there just to have some veggies. Necessarily, this is gonna be a full meal. So, you know what? You could even just have the duck by itself with the potato and the sour cherry demi-glaze. You'd be good to go. All right, let's get ready. I'm gonna prepare the sauce and show you how that's made. I'll come back. I'll slice up the duck and we'll plate. We've taken everything, we have our, our smoked duck, we have our demi-glaze and our potato is already ready. So what I'm gonna do now, I have my pan really hot. What I wanna do is I wanna introduce a sour cherry and I wanna introduce this cherries to it actually. So I got the sour cherry juice, the uh, pitted cherries are gonna go in the pan at a high temperature. What's gonna happen is that's gonna caramelize instantly. I'm gonna add my port wine and I'm gonna add my demi-glaze it's gonna thicken. I'm gonna use that to plate just over the duck breast. The duck breast is gonna have a really smoky, apple flavor with the sour cherries and the port wine is gonna bring out the flavors and enhance that really well. It does not have to be a really expensive smoker to get the flavor you're looking for. As long as you cook with the same process and keep the heat consistent, you'll get the same result. Okay, let's take a look at my pan. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and this is gonna sizzle really well. I put this in here. All right, you see that there? This caramelized is gonna reduce really well. I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit. Look at that color. Oh man, you can really smell that. You ever bake a cake and you smell that uh, like cherry cheesecake? That flavor is the first thing that punches into my face. I smell that right away. 
But once I add my demi glaze, it's going to add that saltiness to it. It's going to add that t uh, gravy texture. Then I'm going to finish it with the port wine and let it reduce. Okay, so let's do that now. And again, this is a little bit darker than normal. I put a bit too much color in. I try to pump it up for the show. Unfortunately, I went a little bit overboard. So I'm going to add three or so ounces, four ounces in here. I'm gonna let that reduce. In fact, I'm gonna put a bit more in because there's a lot of duck there and we're gonna be eating this as we go along. All right, so if you look over here, that's gonna start to cook and bubble and I'm gonna add the port wine as well. I'm gonna wait till this starts to thicken a little bit together, add the port, add my seasoning and then we'll go to the plate. So here I have that smoked duck breast, okay? You can see the score lines where the fat had rendered off so it isn't overly greasy. Most people think duck is overly greasy and it's disgusting. I'm telling you, duck is you know one of these things that's really underrated. It's great flavor. If you render the fat off and make sure that all the fat does drain off, you don't have to eat it, okay? But I'm gonna tell you, the little bits of goodness on the back of this duck's, uh, or on the top of the duck's breast. I love duck breast, I love breast in general. So we're gonna cut this down the middle Laugh all you want, ladies. I'm not gonna hide from the truth. Okay, so you see this here, look at that. Look at that. Nice, clear juices. I'm gonna peel that off. All right. Oh man, I can't wait to get my teeth into this. All right. Oh my God. When's the pizza episode? Mm, this is so good. Anyway, back to earth. All right, this is an amazing flavor. And again, very simple to do. I'm gonna get the sauce, we'll come back. I'll show you the plate. So, we got this rendered down pretty good. It's pretty good sticky sauce. I'm gonna add some port wine to thin it out a little bit and add a little bit of flavor. See this. Oh my God. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Some of these sauces seem really different. A lot of people aren't used to adding fruit or, um, you know, really bright colors to their dark sauces. Adding blueberries, adding grapes, adding cherries to a demi-glaze will really enhance uh, that sauce. And depending on what you have it with, you pair it with, this will go good with wine, it'll go good with beer. Um, you know, for my wife, it doesn't matter as long as there's alcohol in it, it goes well with that too. Yay! <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get ready to plate this up and we're gonna show you that next. Meet me at the cutting board. Okay, so if you take a look at this plate, I want to say that duck looks good. Dead on my plate. So what I'm going to do now, I have the sour cherry and demi glaze port wine sauce. The duck is smoked. I have the asparagus that's barbecued and I have those curry mashed potatoes, okay? The flavor in this dish is fantastic. This is going to be probably something you want to have in the fall, something that's uh, smoky, good. We use the apple wood. Um, it's good for Thanksgiving. Even people who don't like turkey at Christmas, I believe in cooking duck, it's fantastic. Make sure you score your turkey or score your duck um, to get, render that fat when you're cooking it so it doesn't get greasy. This is an amazing dish. Let's put this uh, sauce on here. Oh man. I wish you could smell this because it's amazing. Here we go, go, go to the plate. Oh man. Oh, this is good. Look at that. There it is. This is your smoked applewood duck with curry mashed potatoes, sour cherry demi-glaze, and grilled asparagus. Hope you enjoyed this episode of I Cook, She Drinks. Here's the food, enjoy it, see you next time. You know what, let's do a little liquor review that you will enjoy and maybe it'll be a little pick-me-up so you're not whining to the camera here that you're tired. So we're gonna drink this beer called Nectarious.